Welcome to my channel. Here I've got a Vantu S2 two channel dash cam, it's capable of three channels. Uh, but this one I was supplied with two channels. Uh, I won it as a gift. Just give me a bit of a rundown of how the box is put together. It's quite a stable, solid box. Again, it has a three inch touch screen. It has um, Sony sensors. Two dash cams, one facing out, one facing in. 1440p. Here's the manual, just showing you a couple of the instruction pages. It's pretty useful. And di wiring diagram, the camera itself, really surprised it's uh, made quite well. Good, good solid feel to it. Um, stable feeling to it. There's the power button memory card slot. There's the camera, that's how it would be facing inward. Infrared would be the way it detects when it needs to switch on and off. Um, which is pretty clever actually. It's using external infrared sensor. You can't see the infrared lights, so it's using the, uh, the high frequency. There's the power switch as well. You can see how firm it rotates. So it's not a loose connection, it's quite firm. And back. It's, it's full travel though, here we are, full travel there. You can see those four red infrareds. It has a third channel camera which uses USB-C. That was its connector. This casing here is quite solid. Big cardstock. Inside this package has the GPS unit, the cigarette lighter adapter, and also a couple of 3M stickers, you'll see in a minute, and a spudger, just fell on the table then, the screen, you put these on your little windscreen and then stick the camera to it if you want, instead of having the 3M sticker stuck to your windscreen, I haven't had much luck with them but others do, there's a spare 3M sticker, this unit it's a USB-C powered, great there's those connectors they're quite solid don't have any spring in them but they don't need to as they're a slide connect so there shouldn't be any disconnection problems unless uh, it clicks doesn't lock in properly now, I didn't push it all the way in because I wasn't sure if I'd be able to remove it but it turns out since I put it on the car yes you can remove it not a problem here's the um, cigarette lighter power supply has an external USB slot as well, which is nice. It's running about 2.4 amps, it says on the case, at 5 volts. And the cable's quite flexible as well, and uh, so is the um, buttons that are on it, so it should fit firmly and snugly into the cigarette lighter socket. And there's a USB-C connector there. And an extra USB cable, I suspect, for use when you want to connect to your computer. And the budget it's rather firm, small but firm. And here's the entire set of things that came with it. I'll just go through this manual, it's quite thick, but what you'll find is it's written for many languages. I haven't looked to see how many, but many languages. I'll move on now to actually installing the dash cam into the car. So I started her up and just wanted to see what it would do. This was just a preliminary test. Uh, fired it up. Um, the quality of the screen, the camera doesn't, my camera doesn't do it justice. It's quite sharp, very easy to read. You can read it on angles. Uh, really impressed. Um, so disregard the, the poor quality of my camera. I don't know how to get that any sharper. So setting date and time, one of the things I found was you can't set the GPS um, location uh, in the application. It can only be done on the uh, the camera itself, which is 
slight oversight, I think, for the, for the application that you install on your phone. But it's not necessary because you've got a touch screen, so it's not an end of story. And here you can see the uh, infrared is trying to read my leg, and the other one is reading the other side. Because it's dark at night, um, yeah, there's no way it was going to pick up much. Here I'm putting in a Samsung uh, 64 gig card. And like most dash cams I've ever touched, the I can never get the memory yeah. sticks, the memory cards in. I'm using a wood pick. And you can use a memory card if you needed. Uh, another one to reverse and push on it could work as well. You can see the speed at the bottom right corner. The touch screen, so you can, you've got two menus. One's uh, a quick access menu. And on the other side, on the left, is another menu and it gives you the images and also the system. So you can sort of break down what you need to set. So it breaks down the menu settings. Here's the phone application. So I'm running that up and uh, just scrolling through the things that you can use here. Yeah, all in all, pretty nice app. Uh, it can uh, you can also watch through the app live footage from the car cameras. And downloading, I had a little bit of trouble. I had a bit of a delay in downloading any files. So that's what you'd see when you first start it. And I stopped it to go and have a look at the files that are stored on my card. And I've only done night driving so far, so that's what I've got there. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. I'll have more later.